Now, coming back to the classification of force, they can be basically of two kinds, contact force and non-contact force. Now, contact force happens in something like a football game that I told you. So, the player hits the football and it moves around. Non-contact forces are the one where you know you do not need to connect to the object on which the force is applied. Let's say a gravitational force. So in a gravitational force, let's say this is the ground level, a stone is thrown by a person in the sky. So the stone goes up and then goes down. So what is happening is that the earth is applying a force on this stone by virtue of which it comes down. However, there is no physical contact between the earth and the stone. So these type of forces are known as non-contact forces. Now non-contact forces are basically further of various kind which includes gravitational force as I told you, electrostatic force and magnetic force. Magnetic force again let's say you have a magnetic magnet okay and there is a piece of iron which is lying here. So once you keep the magnet over here these iron pieces start getting attracted towards the magnet and they come and stick on to the magnet. So this magnet is applying force to these iron pieces which are coming and sticking it to it. However, there is no physical contact between this magnet and these iron pieces. So this is known as magnetic force. Okay. Elect gravitational force, I have already given you an example. Right? Now let's see what the electrostatic force is. Electrostatic force is basically when force is applied between electronic charges. Now you must have done a exercise wherein you know you apply a comb to your head which has oil okay and once you rub it against your head I'm not saying this is you but you rub this comb against your head and then you try to put it close to papers. So what you notice is that these papers start getting attracted towards the comb, the plastic comb. Okay. So this is known as electrostatic force. Now when you say contact force these are basically again something like you know applied force so applied forces are forces which you apply using either your hands or your legs in case of football your hands in case you are making something you know or maybe you know as you blow away the things these are the forces which are applied okay and the other one is something like a friction. Now what is a friction? I'll tell you about in detail about friction and types of friction in a subsequent video because that's a separate topic which is complete in itself. However, just to ensure that you know what the meaning of friction is, I'll explain it to you. What happens is that let's say you have a person X and you have a person Y. Both are moving in opposite direction. Okay. So both of them don't want to go back. There's a side, let's say there's a lane in which you don't have the space where two people can walk simultaneously. So both try to apply force against each other. Okay. So the force which is being applied 
by let's say this guy call him y with respect to the force which is coming from x on this side is known as friction okay we'll discuss this more in detail in one of the future videos that we'll be creating